Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for another video. I am finally coming at you guys with a Sensi haul. It has been a long time that I've been waiting for this package, specifically the one that's sitting right here in front of me. Um, I have been waiting to film my clearance haul because I it is a relatively small order and I didn't want to do it in its own video and then I also didn't want to do the Beauty and the Beast stuff in its own video because it's also going to be very small. So I wanted to include them together. But then I had some issues with my package, basically the uh, Beauty and the Beast stuff because it shipped through FedEx. So one day it was going to be delivered on that day and then it said pending for like an entire day and I didn't know when it was going to be delivered. Then it was like, oh, it'll be delivered today. Didn't it get delivered and finally got delivered today to the wrong apartment, I might add. So I had to go get it. I got a call from like my um, apartment management and they're like, hey, someone brought this package here because it was delivered to their house. Can you come get it? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I can. Thank goodness it's finally here. But it took a while is my point I'm trying to make. Um, so yeah, let's talk about it. And apologies if I look like sweaty. It is super hot here already. It's supposed to get up to 106 degrees on Sunday. And I was actually just watching um, Susan Fitzpatrick, a video from of hers from a little while ago, or maybe it was recent. I can't remember which one it was in that she said it was like 109 or something ridiculous. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not built for that wet weather. And then now it's supposed to be 160 here. And I'm like, ah, it's, it's never that hot here. So anyways, let's talk about what I got. Let me do my clearance haul really quickly. First, I do want to say that this also came with FedEx. And when I received it, I already opened it, which I should have kept it unopened so I could show you. Um, it was basically open. Like it pretty much looked like this. Um, <laughs> so thanks FedEx. Um, it was basically opened already and luckily there was no breakables in here like I didn't order any warmers or anything even though I wanted to you guys that clearance launch was pretty dang good like the the second best to when they launched all those bring back my bar in um what was that January February was it way before that could have been <laughs> or way after I don't know I'm a lot of out of whack because I just ran to get my package, came down, sit down to film this video. Okay, so let's talk about what I got in the clearance order. So I do want to say that I am one of the lucky few that was able to pick up some of the Ocean Washer Whiffs. Um, if you guys don't already know what happened, essentially they were oversold and People were able to purchase them. They got confirmation codes and everything. And then a few days later, they were told that they would not be getting the product and were refunded for it. Um, Melissa Johnson mentioned it in her video. She's just one of the people that wasn't able to get theirs. There were others too. Ocean is a really popular scent, especially in the laundry. So of course, everyone just ran at it. And then for some reason, they were oversold. Don't hate me, but I was one of the people that got them. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try this in the laundry because I'm not a crazy big fan of it in the wax, but I like it and I think it would make a really good laundry scent. And it absolutely does. It, I don't get like as much of that sandy note that I get in the bar in the wash riffs, which is nice. And so I got it in at two. Sorry, I'm not able to put the lid on, I guess. Two washer whiffs and a laundry liquid to go with it. And this was just the clearance um, update for laundry lovers, I guess. Well, primarily, um, I got Go Go Mango, Mango, Go Go Mango and Washer Whiffs. There we go. I, I know I can speak English. Um, I love Go Go Mango. I get good performance out of it in pretty much everything. I'm hoping the Washer Whiffs are okay performance. But I was just excited to see them, so I picked them up. Um, and to go with that, because there wasn't anything else in the laundry bundle available in Go Go Mango, I got Sun Kiss Citrus in the laundry liquid. So I'm excited to try that as well. I'm not going to open that. I have a few laundry items I'm working through. And honestly, I don't know why I buy these in the clearance section, because what if I love it? What am I going to do then? Wait until it hopefully comes out in another clearance update? Like, why do I do that to myself? Tell me. 
Tell me why I do that to myself. I don't know. Um, okay. So, yes, last thing in here. I told you it was a pretty small clearance haul. I could have done so much more damage. Like, I think actually I went in and I added probably like 20 or 30, 20 something items to my cart. And I was like, I can't do that. I literally cannot get that many items. Like, that's just insane. So I went through and I deleted out and only got the items that I really, really wanted, which apparently was laundry stuff and Scentsy Fresh, which is also in Sunkiss Citrus, like laundry liquid. I am super excited about this. I think this will be awesome for the spring summertime, which obviously we're just getting into the thick of spring, even though, not spring, the thick of summer, even though I'm already ready for fall. Don't hate me. I, I'm ready for fall, 100% ready. So let's talk about the main event, which is Beauty and the Beast. So the stuff did come into my lure bag. So one second while I open that. Sorry, it's usually really loud. I did the bundle because I wanted to get it all. I thought it was awesome that they offered the, like what they call it, Be Our Guest Bundle, I think is what they called it. Uh, it doesn't say. Be Our Guest Bundle is what I'm gonna call it because that's pretty much what it was. You got the full size warmer, the mini warmer, and the bar in one pack. And so it was awesome, especially, and this stuff didn't sell out super quickly, which I was kind of surprised about. Chip sold out a lot quicker. Um, actually, Mrs. Potts is still in stock, but again, that was a little bit surprising. However, what I was going to say is because it was in a bundle, it was just one bundle you add to the cart or how many of her bundles you were buying, just add that to your cart and then go through checkout. You didn't have to go to each of the items and add them, which I, I understand probably wouldn't have taken that much time, but still it was super convenient and easy and simple. And I got all my items and I'm super excited. Did I have something on my face? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> um, super excited to share with you guys what I think about the scent. So let's talk about the scent first. This is nice and juicy. <laughs> it's warm, so I'm okay. It's fine. Who knows how long, honestly, it could have been way worse with how long it was probably sitting in the truck or at the FedEx facility. So um, let's talk about the scent notes. I have the scent notes right here before I smell them. Smell it. It's fresh pink grapefruit and sparkling bergamot. So fresh and fruity and citrusy. I like that. Um, kick off the radiant first chapter while scattered, while scattered flower petals write an unforgettably romantic ending. So grapefruit, bergamot, and petals, flower petals. So floral, fruity, but not floral, fruity, like strawberry, floral, citrus, which is interesting. Oh, okay. I get a lot of ga grapefruit and bergamot. That's good. Yeah. Um, it does smell very like fresh and clean. I'm actually not getting a ton of floral. And I don't want to rub this because it is super oily, like, holy moly. I'm getting a lot of grapefruit and bergamot. I already said that, but that's mainly what I'm getting. And it's a really sweet grapefruit. It's not super, um, like, tart sour that some grapefruit notes can be. Mixed with bergamot, which is a fresh citrus, kind of perfumey cologne. The bergamot, instead of perfumey cologne in this, is coming off as clean instead. This is very clean. And yeah, I'm not smelling a ton of floral. Not a ton of floral. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit of like the floral that's in um, Here Comes the Sunflowers, which I really like, a very perfumey floral. So maybe the floral is mixing with the bergamot to make that perfumey floral type note, but the bergamot's also coming off as clean, fresh. I like it. It's interesting. It's not what I was expecting. Um, I'm glad that they came out with a new scent though. Um, sorry, I'm getting a phone call. Moment. Sorry, I started getting, I started getting a phone call and I tried to exit out of it, but then it almost answered it and cut off the video. Anyway, 
Um, I'm excited. What I was trying to say is that I'm excited that they brought out a new scent instead of one of the older scents because I know the older Bell scent was very floral, if I remember correctly. I never tried that one, um, but from what I've heard from people, it was a very floral. So you guys know I'm not a big floral lover, so I'm okay with that. Um, okay, so I actually, what I did in this bundle situation is I got the bundle and then I also picked up the um mini ceramic base to put chip on because i want to have them displayed right next to each other i'm going to put them in my office on my display i have some display shelves i'm still working on getting them like nice and then i might start filming in front of those um because it's like my sensi stuff and i think it'd be cute so we'll see but let's go ahead and unbox them. I'm going to unbox them both together so that we can actually like put it together on the base. Okay. That's what I meant. Not both of them together, meaning Mrs. Potts. That one's going to take a second because I think it's a lampshade. So it's going to be kind of heavy um, and I don't want it to break, obviously. Even though if I absolutely had to, I could get another one because it's still available. And both of these come with a night light, which is, or an actual light bulb, which is cool. I kind of expected that the ceramic base won it, but I don't know why. It does have it in the photo, so I guess that would, and I'm dropping the night, the actual light bulb, so hopefully it doesn't break. Okay, I already have hair on it. My hair. Oh, it's cute. Okay. So he is super cute. Belle, by the way, is my favorite princess. My second favorite princess is Ariel, but number one is Belle. Or maybe they're like tied for number one. I don't know. <laughs> and now I'm getting low power. Sorry. Um, he is really cute. He's a nice ceramic, um, like porcelain ceramic. And there is Belle in the dish section. It has the classic chip um in him and yeah it looks just like in the movies there are some holes in the back to let out some of the light and then it also says disney on a little sticker down here so for the ceramic ones you want to go like this and then twist and i could definitely put one of the washers on so one second real quick let me put a washer on um they give you these washers because sometimes um, the fit is a little bit like loose and you don't want it to be loose. You want it to be tight and you know, you, you don't want like any wax spill or things falling over or anything like that. Um, so let me, if I can get this out one second, sorry. Put this on here. So you literally just go like this, you just loop it from this side to the other. It's hard to do when I'm on camera and people are watching me. Okay, and then like this. And this is the exact same if you're actually putting it on the regular um, nightlight base. So there you go. It's all nice and plugged in. So I'm gonna set that to the side and then I'm going to show them lit up at the same time at the very end. So one second, let me get my other one out. I am going to put this part, the night light, the, the plug-in base back in the chip box and set that to the side so I don't lose that <laughs> in case I ever do want to have it plugged into the wall. And let's get out Mrs. Pops. So this is a huge box. There she is on the box and her actual warmer picture. Super cute super beautiful i'm so excited i've seen pictures already because it's been forever since some people are getting them like four days ago felt like at least um so here is the lid it's purple looks just like what she looks like in the movie and here is the big huge warmer it's huge huge Get her out of here without breaking anything. Get the light bulb out too. It is a 25 watt, I believe. 
She's so cute. It looks like a like an actual functioning teapot. She is so cute. Obviously, there's also a dish on here and this is a lampshade warmer. I'll show you how to put it together. There is the beast and this goes on top. I'm just gonna show you really quickly and then take it off because I don't wanna break it. But that's pretty beautiful. Okay, now let's put it together. Um, so like I said, this is a lampshade warmer. We do have a few of these in the catalog. Um, but now I'm thinking about it. Oh, like the Winnie the Pooh warmer is a lampshade warmer. And basically what that means is the actual warmer is kind of like a lampshade that goes on top of the light, just like a lampshade on a lamp. Um, so twist in the light bulb here. Then what you do is you stick this on top of it like that. Obviously, I'm not really on a flat surface because it's just my hand. So it'll sit a lot flatter and won't make that that like glass clanging noise when it's sitting on um, the table. There she is. Let me go ahead and plug these in and I'll be right back. Okay, got them all plugged in so now I can actually show them to you. I'm going to try not to break anything, obviously. Um, I also was just thinking while I was plugging these in that I forgot to mention this. There are still some really awesome items available in the clearance section. So if you're still looking for some clearance lines, go ahead and go check those out. There's a ton of scent circles in there. Um, so if you need scent circles, go check them out. Okay, let's turn her on. Let me see if I can turn the light off. There we go. Cute. Let me get her. It's making me nervous <laughs> with this on. Just my hand instead of an actual flat surface. There she is. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this with chip in my hand as well. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Sorry, there's no good lighting for a second. Um, here is chip. Cute. So it's just a nice subtle glow. But let me see. Huh, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to break anything. But I also want to show you guys how cute they look together. Because obviously they are the perfect match. So there's Mrs. Potts and there's Chip. There we go. I did it. They're together. Cute. It is really difficult to hold those lampshade warmers with just your hand because it's not a flat surface. Anyways, those are super cute. I'm so excited about those. I'm going to go set them up right now. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Like I said, this is long overdue. I'm sorry that it wasn't up super quickly. I was dealing with FedEx. Um, but yeah, go check out the clearance section if there's anything um, that you're, you've had your eye on. It might be in there. Go look. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you got the Beauty and the Beast items. And also let me know down below in the comments, have you warmed this scent? Have you smelled it? Do you like it? I'd be curious to know. Um, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.